getting ready to Swedish weave. So you go to the store, you buy your monk's cloth, and it comes, depending on the store, in several different shades. This color right here is the most common color that you'll find in stores, and it actually isn't a color. It's, it's natural. It's not been dyed. Um, so in some stores, this will even be a dollar cheaper per yard than the dyed monk's cloth. And I have purchased about, I think this is a yard and a half. What you want to do when you get home, or even at the store, you want the lady in the craft department, or if you're at the fabric store, to cut the month's cloth straight. If it's not, then you need to trim it up when you get home. They did a good job when I got this, and both sides, the cut sides, are cut pretty straight. Um, this, the other sides, just in case for those of you, of you don't, that don't know, this is the selvage edge. Here's the selvage edge. With monk's cloth, it just has a tighter weave to keep it from fraying. Anyone that's worked with monk's cloth before knows that it frays very easily. These threads come apart very easily. And I'm going to zoom in for a minute so you can maybe see that each, there's rows of threads, and each row has four threads. Let's see how close we can get. So when you're actually weaving, you're going to pick up all four of these threads. And so there's one, two, three, four. And go, whether it's going this way or this way, there's four threads in each row. A couple of little side notes. In case it is cut crooked, what you'll want to, there, well, there are a couple of things you'll want to do. I'm just going to cut this crooked for this example. You'll want to to straighten out this edge, you'll want to cut in as far as you need to where the first long row of threads has not been cut into at all. So I, I can't start trimming up the edge here because the threads up here have been cut into by the, the person at the store. So I'm going to start right here. This line of threads right here have not been cut into, so I'm going to trim it up at that point and just cut along following that row of the threads. Now I'll cut across, all the way across the monk's cloth, following that row. Now when you get a jagged edge, or a, a, it, it's not necessarily jagged, but like what I did at the end here, it just swoops off to the side. That usually happens when they cut the cloth with a rotary cutter. Um, if they're doing it the right way, they'll pull some of these threads and then follow that thread line so that you are um, not cutting into the threads and they're doing it straight. So just go all the way across the ends, trim both sides if you need to. One more side note is if it isn't, you never know, um, if it's not cut straight, as you can see here I'm cutting off some of the, the yardage. And so if you have a pattern that calls for a, spe a specific amount that you need to use for whatever project you're doing, you might want to get a little bit extra so that in case it's not cut straight, or if it starts to fray before you can get it machine sewn, you've got a little wiggle room. Um, and then you're not in trouble if your monk's cloth ends up being shorter than what you need for your pattern. The next thing you do is machine stitch along the cut edge of your cloth. 
Um, the pattern may say how far in from the cut edge to stitch. If it says one inch, you get a little ruler and measure in from the cut edge. And I like to count how many rows that is and then put a pin in it to mark it. So to mark where I'm going to stitch. So if I'm counting down from the cut edge how many of these rows, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows, and then I'll just pin it right there, and then I will be stitching where the pin is between this row and this row. And you can use a zigzag, kind of a narrow zigzag stitch, or a smaller straight stitch. You'll want to use thread that matches the color of your monk's cloth. I'm using different darker colors just so that it will show up. So you just continue along stitching to the other end of the selvage and eight rows in from the cut edge or an inch. And on until you get to the other side. After both sides of your cloth are stitched, I like to pull some of these threads. Um, if you don't, they come undone in your washer and make a knots and a terrible mess. So you can pull those off and it will save some knotting and, and a mess in your washer and dryer too. So you can pull most of those out. I usually leave the one that's right above the stitching because some of them are caught in the machine stitching and pull the rest and then just toss it in your washer. The washing part is not as essential as the drying but um, I like to wash and dry it to soften the cloth, shrink it, and then it will fluff up and make this fringe really soft and pretty. Here's our washed and dried piece of monk's cloth. It's soft now. It has a nice fluffy fringe. It's soft. Also, the fringe is. And now you can work on this, this piece of monk's cloth. You don't ever want to do any Swedish weaving on monk's cloth until you have stitched the cut, cut edges and washed it and dried it. Before um, I washed it and I measured it, it was 54 inches, that's a yard and a half. And I measured it after and it's now 46 inches, so it shrunk 8 inches. There's quite a bit of shrinkage, it's 100% cotton again, so there will be shrinkage. So you'll want to, when you purchase it, get maybe a little bit more than what the pattern asks for. That's mostly for if the edges aren't cut straight. The pattern, if it says to purchase, two yards of monk's cloth has already taken in that shrinkage amount, so you don't have to worry about it. But there is our monk's cloth ready to go. One more thing is, you know, it's kind of wrinkly right here, so I'll probably press part of it. I probably won't iron the whole thing, but just the more wrinkly parts because I'm going to be working on it. It's going to be folded up in a craft bag and it won't be necessary for me to iron the whole thing, but it, that's up to you if you want to press it before you start working on it. Would be just fine.